thousand, Aston Villa have signed Luke Digne from Everton for around twenty to twenty five million. Uh, obviously filling in for the left back role. Probably going to be starting instead of Matty Target for now on. And I just wanted to get my thoughts across. Obviously, um, I'm not saying this is the reason he's left Everton, but obviously there was a bit of a problem with him, Rafa Benitez. They had a bit of a falling out, and uh, he wasn't really starting a lot. And I, I don't really know what really happened. Obviously, Everton right now, you could say they're in a relegation battle. And I mean, it's weird to say for Everton, but it looks like it as of right now. But I have faith Everton obviously won't go down at all because it's just that's bizarre to say. Uh, but yeah, obviously we've signed him and I just wanted to give my thoughts on, you know, what's going to happen with like Matty Target. Obviously, Matt Target, I thought last season was his best season with us. I mean, the first 10 or so games, I remember he was getting out of the match very often. Um, and one match that really stood out to me also of probably Arsenal away when we beat him 3-0. Uh, he was all, you know, he was a really needy player in that game uh, to get us a 3 0 win. But um, yeah, this season he hasn't really touched the ground running. He didn't really have much of a pre season, I believe, uh, if, I, if I remember it. But um, you know, it's really sad. But you know, we if we really want to push on to get Europe, and it, it could happen this season still, like it's, we're not out of the woods yet. Um, it could still happen. We're not, you know, get a win or two and we're back in it basically. But um, I'm okay this season if we don't get. I'll, I'll still, I'll still probably say seventh for us, which means the Conference League. But I always don't mind as long as we're top ten with the signings that we're recruiting right now. I mean, we've got Coutinho, Luke Digne, and it looks like you know we're gonna be getting some of the uh, players in. Um, you know, I can name a lot of them, but I'm not too sure who who else we're gonna be getting. But it looks like we will be getting uh, more than two players in. But yeah, uh, more on target. I do, I do feel sorry for him, but. Yeah, it's, it's sort of what has to happen now. We need talent all over the pitch if we are going to be looking and really seriously be uh, trying to get into a top six place. And I do believe uh, with the signs we've got, and say if we do a lot, you know, Coutinho has a really good uh, half season with us and we do actually end up buying him, which is a possibility. Next season definitely is top six for us. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with this signing. A new left back at the club. Uh, a highly rated one as well. I mean, we we weren't gonna go in and pay like, uh, but ten mil for someone. We wanted someone big, and we went for someone big at the end of the day. Twenty five million or twenty million, whatever it was, it's worth it for him. So yeah, I want to know, uh, what if there is any Everton fans watching? I want to know what you think of it. So leave it in the comments what you think of this uh, new signing for Villa. Obviously, Villa fans want to know what you think of it as well. And uh, yeah, up the Villa with the pride of Villa. We will see you in the next uh, transfer signing, whatever it is.